Jonathan B.J. Hayes here, local realtor here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. Today we are going to talk about what happens at a final walkthrough here in Port St. Lucie to prepare you for closing day. All right. So this is a home that I recently sold. And this is what happens. So usually it can either be the day before or normally I like to do it the day of. I like to have the buyers meet me at the home. We walk through the house and make sure that the house is broom swept, everything is out, and we're actually getting what we were promised. In this walkthrough, guys, it's only meant to take five minutes. You're just trying to make sure that when the sellers left, they didn't kick holes in the walls and didn't take everything out of it. It's simple. It's not picky stuff. Look, that scratch that I didn't notice. No, it's meant to be five minutes. You make sure that basically the house is still standing and then it's off to the title company to close. Purely, that is it. All other negotiation things were already done during your inspection period. And that's literally it. So don't get all worked up and think that the final walkthrough is supposed to be a half a day process. It's not. It should take you five minutes, literally. My name is Jonathan B.J. Hayes, local realtor here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. Thank you for returning back to the home of Port St. Lucie Real Estate. As always, make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the videos, like the videos, and tell a friend about the wonderful things going on here in beautiful Port St. Lucie, Florida. Anybody out there looking to sell or buy a home, all my information is in the description below. So guys, take a look, walk through this house, let me know what you think. It's a gorgeous house, three bedrooms with an office. Um, it had recently been just, you know, updated, gorgeous house. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions about the buying process, whether it's the walkthrough or getting approved, let me know. Guys, so as you do this final walkthrough and you're walking through the house, just literally walk through from room to room. Walk in the door, enter. I would walk um, the floor of each room. And if there is a closet, just open the closets, make sure everything is out. As you go through like the hallways, just make sure that the hallways are not, don't have holes in the wall and make sure if there was things like, hey, they were supposed to leave that chandelier or that light, just make sure they are there. The other thing you can do, which should have been done beforehand is if there were any fixes that needed to be done before closing, this is the time you can make sure they have been completed. Now, with that said, you should have checked that before, but I know a lot of times when people go back, they like to look, oh yeah, they're, you know, we had them take care of that, honey. You know, remember? Yeah, they, they did it. So that's literally all you're going to do here and make sure all the major appliances that were supposed to be left were left. Refrigerator, washer and dryer, dishwasher, things of that nature. If there was something as of a piece of furniture they were supposed to leave, you're looking at that. And that's literally it. This is not meant to be a gripe session. It's not meant to be a we should have asked or caught. All that is done. Again, we're just here to make sure the walls are standing and what was promised to us is inside the house. Once you finish the inside of the house, we're going to do the same exact thing on the outside. You're going to walk the perimeter of the house 
so you can make sure that, hey, the AC, the sprinkler system, all that stuff is there so you can see where it's located at. Also, different things like you'll want to know where the water shutoff valve is, the grinder, things of that nature so you can just familiarize yourself. The other thing I will tell you is also look at like the mailbox. See if you need to get a new mailbox. Those little things that you're going to need before you move into the home. That's literally it. Once we finish this walkthrough, my normal practice is we're headed to the closing table now. So I like to schedule it so we do our walkthrough. As soon as we leave that walkthrough, we are headed to the closing table to make this official and make you the new homeowner of that beautiful house we just walked. Anybody has any questions on the walkthrough process, what happens on closing day, or anything else related to Port St. Lucie real estate, all my information is in the description below.
Stick around and wait 